Hi, my name is Andrea Zamora and I'm going to be doing the analyzing the caffeine experiment. And so, yeah, I already read this. And the first question is, gather 20 index cards to represent 20 students in this experiment. On each card, write one of the 20 outcomes listed in the table. For example, write A on the first card, three on the second, and so on. So this is a table that it's talking about. So the first group is the caffeine and then the second group is the no caffeine. And so I'll be writing down the the caffeine numbers on 10 index cards, which I have right here. And then the no caffeine, which, yeah, I'm gonna write them. So yeah, <laughs> okay. So I just finished writing down the caffeine numbers on the 10 index cards and so now I'll be doing the no caffeine which are the other 10 numbers that I need to write on the index okay. cards. So I finished writing down the no caffeine numbers on the index cards and this is about a ball and <laughs> so the second question says uh, shuffle the cards and deal two piles of 10 cards each. This represents randomly assigning the 20 students to the two experiments, assuming that the treatment received doesn't affect the change in pulse rate. The first pile of 10 cards represents the caffeine group, and the second pile of the 10 cards represents the no caffeine group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle these because that's what it says and yeah I'm trying to shuffle these um, I'm not really good at shuffling so. now I need to make two piles of ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine so I have 10 right here and 10 right here. So now we got number two done. And then it says find the mean change of each group and subtract the means. Caffeine minus no caffeine. And so yeah. So now I need to find the mean of the no caffeine and the caffeine group. And so by finding the mean, I need to add all 10 of them and get the total and then get divided by 10 since these are 10 numbers so yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now i think that should be good okay whatever so now i need to make two piles of 10 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so I have 10 right here and 10 right here. So now we got number two done. And then it says find the mean change of each group and subtract the means. Caffeine minus no caffeine. And so yeah. So now I need to find the mean of the no caffeine and the caffeine group. And so by finding the mean, I need to add all 10 of them and get the total and then get divided by 10 since these are 10 numbers okay so i already did the math for the caffeine part so i added them up and damn i got 17 so now what i need to do is i need to divide by 10 so that i can have already the mean for it and so I am using a calculator because 17 divided by 10 is 1.7. And so that is the mean for the first group. And so now we're going to do the same process, but for the other group. And where is and where are you? So this one is group number one so yeah so now we're gonna do this other group and yeah 
I'm just separating them because yeah. Okay, so I added them all up and the total for the second group is 35. So now I need to find the mean for it. So it'd be 35 divided by 10 and it'd be 3.5. So this is the mean for the second group. And so this would be the difference in means and uh, well, the, the difference between both means. Yeah, so 1.8 would be the difference. And so we will continue doing this about 20 more times so that we are able to create a dot plot like this one because it does tell us to make a dot plot. And so, yeah. I will have to do this 20 more times and yeah. Other thing. Yeah. So what I'm doing right now, or what I did right now, was I shuffled the cards for the second time and I will have to make two piles of 10 so that I am able to do it one more time so that we can also create the dot plot. So four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten and so this is already for there's already ten right here and ten right here the two ten piles for each group and so now what i will do is i will add these up and then i will divide it by ten and then do the same for this one and then i will subtract both means to find a difference and so that I am able to put it on the dot plot. So what I did was I added them all up and I got the total 15. 15 divided by 10 is 1.5. And then I did the same thing, but for the second group. And then I got 37, 37 divided by 10, which is 3.7. So I added them all up. And I got the mean for group 1 and for group 2, the mean for group 1 was 1.5. Group 2, the mean was 3.7. And I subtracted both means and I got the difference in mean and it is 1.8. And I will continue doing this for 23 times. So I'll be so what I did was I checked the mean. 10 more times and I got as you can see that's number 10 and yeah I got it all right here so that's number two I got number one over here and so on like yeah um but for now we are going to dot plot them and what we're gonna do is the mean, we are gonna make it, we're gonna put it all in a dot plot, just like this one. And we're gonna, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna put it all in a dot plot so that we can see how much it is. And yeah. Okay, so what I did off camera was, so far, I only have the 10 means of, what's it called, the difference in caffeine and no caffeine. So, as you can see, there isn't a lot that are, like, similar. But, como este, nomas, there's only two. And there's more on this side than there is like on three so it's like more 0 0.4 0 0.3 and yeah okay so i finished finding the means for the caffeine and the no caffeine and i put the rest in here so there's 25 dots for the 25 tests that i ran for the caffeine and the no caffeine and as you can see it's more skewed to the right as you can see like it's going like that and there's less 
yeah there's less tests that are run that have more than um, more than two usually they're more around 1.4 maybe about 0 0.8 0 0.9 okay, so what we found out about this test is that the simulated difference in change of pulse rate for the caffeine and no caffeine is that there is more that are around 1.4 and 1.3 but there isn't as many like there isn't a lot of pulse rate that is more than two or three it's more around 0 0.3 three or four and it goes up to maybe zero point yeah it goes up to zero one point four and one point eight and that's the little dot right there